Last October, I traveled to Asia to visit with many of our longtime suppliers, meet with new ones, and discover new and exciting foods. One of the highlights of my trip was a visit to the manufacturer of our centrifuged coconut oil. This producer is on the island of Mindanao. Mindanao is a large southern island in the Philippines. Mindanao means land of promise. To my delight, as we drove down the country road to the factory, there were children playing ball in a field, there were swallow-like birds swooping over the grassy areas where they were eating insects, and a carabao was grazing under the coconut trees, and the scene was just peaceful, serene, and natural. At the factory, I watched the entire process as they produced our virgin coconut oil. From the washing of the coconuts, to the grating, to the pressing out of the cream, to the centrifuge process, which eventually extracts out just pure, unadulterated coconut oil. The manager owner of this little facility is named Tony. People call him Crazy Tony because he's a real special entrepreneur that has lots of energy, is extremely kind, and eats three to four tablespoons of coconut oil a day. Nestled in a room just off to the side of this production area were 80 brand new barrels of virgin coconut oil waiting for a container to come from the port there so they could load them up and ship them off to us in America. I was blessed to actually be there when the truck pulled up hauling this container and it was a great brand new container and yet the people there at the facility got soapy water and a hose and they started washing the inside of the container which looked clean to me but they said that there was a little bit of flour or something that they detected inside and they always wash the inside of the container before they load up our barrels and then to my surprise as this was going on one by one the different areas of the facility began stopping production and washing up all of their equipment. And lo and behold, once they had loaded all of the barrels, they had a small celebration, a little party, celebrating the fact that one more container was leaving for America. It was at that point that I realized what an impact we were having on this community. I learned that they had a handful of employees earlier and now, because of us, they have 55 employees. That's 55 families in that community that now have an income. I also learned that there are two restaurants in town that now stay open 24 hours a day because they are working three shifts a day, six days a week. So these restaurants are staying open just to feed the workers at this facility. The people in the Philippines were respectful, kind, they treated me with kindness, honor, and they're polite and thankful. Thankful for the difference that we're making in their lives and the lives of their children and their community. Um, but really, what I realized when I was there that it's not just us. We've been connecting you with these wonderful people in the Philippines, but it's you. You buying the fruits of their labor that has made this wonderful difference in their lives. And I just wanted to thank you for what you are doing to these wonderful people and their community.